Hey guys, I'm Darren Smart. This is Smartly Selling, and I'm going to be showing you my latest haul. Now, this haul it kind of comes from all over the place. There's some charity shops, some auction houses, and probably a few other bits and pieces in between. So, I'm um, going we'll to try and make this as quick as possible, which long term subscribers will know that probably means it's going to be about 45 minutes long. But I'll try my best. Now, first of all, here are some charity shop uh, pickups that I had quite a while ago now, maybe two, three weeks ago, still not listed, don't judge me, okay, judge me, but yeah, there's a few good items here, mainly clothing, um, I picked up this, which is a really, really nice Fly Emirates Arsenal shirt, it's a, I would imagine, training, or kind of like just casual shirt, uh, all good, all legit, it is a Nike dry fit extra large so really good size uh, i paid two pounds fifty okay so two pounds fifty um a lot i've ever seen one of these sell on ebay recently and that went for 25 pounds there's none listed on ebay at the moment so i don't know i might just stick it on at 25 as i know it sells for that or i might even go 30 35 and see what happens but yeah, nice pickup. I'm not an Arsenal fan myself, but uh, I can still recognise that is a really nice quality shirt. So that's that one. Next up, we have this racing shirt, which I believe is a SMS Santini, and it's a really really nice racing shirt, good condition. Front and back's very nice. Uh, I believe last one that sold was 20 quid or 22 pounds. I think there's only one on eBay at the moment listed for either 25 or 29.99. I can't quite remember. It has been a couple of weeks since I checked these out. Um, this one I believe was more money. Yeah, this was four pounds. But uh, I knew. Well, okay, that's a lie. I didn't know it was good money, but I had a feeling it was a bit different. And if I got 24, I'd still be happy with that. So that's that one. Next up, we're actually two items are the same item. You'll see what I mean. Um, and it's these, which you may have seen. And it's those like pet sort of dog faces, and you get cats and all sorts. And it's, uh, this one is a, quite a big size. This is um, extra large. I mean, it's. Extra large isn't necessarily a big size, but this seems larger than extra large. I don't know. But uh, this is, uh, I believe, the Chocolate Lab, I think they call it. Yeah. But this one, these ones are actually still got the um, still got the label in, so I don't think they've ever been worn. It may not focus, but uh, there we go. Yeah, so it's never been worn. This one's extra large. I paid £3 uh, for this one. It's probably not going to focus, but there we go. I'll try that. There we go. Three pounds. Um, eBay, you're looking at 20 quid for these. Uh, you can tell that they've never been worn. They are new, but obviously they have been hanging up in the shop. So I don't know whether to go with used or new. I'm not sure. But I've got an extra large. And incredibly, they had another one right next to it. Also three pounds, or at least I would imagine it is. Yeah, also three pounds. This one was wrongly labelled as extra large, but it's actually a medium. Yeah, it's actually a medium, which I don't mind. I would have bought it anyway. Uh, but this one's a medium. Uh, once again, twenty quid. It tends to be for whatever size of these you want. So it would be very nice if I could manage to get forty quid back on a six pound purchase. Um, right, so that was the early charity shop stuff. I picked up some stuff in the charity shop today as well. Um, so I'll show you those. Let's just make a little space down here. Right, okay, so today I picked up this. Um, quite your run of the mill, everyday scrabble, but uh, it was still brand new and sealed. Uh, it's original factory seal, so I wasn't going to turn that down for £2. That could go Amazon FBA at Christmas time, or even just on eBay. Same difference really on that. So that's going to be nice. 
Uh, I, by the way, on the Scrabble, I would imagine 10, 15 quid. I don't think they're like even sealed. I don't think they're good, good prices. I may be wrong, but I would imagine 10, 15. Anyway, so picked up this. This I ha I, I couldn't leave this in the store. Um, I can't quite remember the name of it. I believe it's the the GT Rhapsody, and it was renamed over here when British Telecom released it to like the SR. 1020 I believe um, but it's a really really nice vintage uh, British Telecom telephone uh, all the buttons are working really well the receiver's in really great great shape um, still got the old number who uh, owned it before this was more of like an office factory one and um, there's the back there it was made in Belgium um, so a good European uh, European make everything seems to be there uh, I've got to test it just to make sure that at least I get a dial tone. I would I would imagine I will because there wasn't really much to telephones, let's be fair. But um, yeah, nice bit of retro. I don't know, nice bit of vintage electronics really. It's just always nice to pick up stuff like that. Uh, by the way, this cost me five pounds, which it may or there we go, five pounds. So I don't want to use the term pay up because. A lot of resellers have been trying to avoid using that term lately. So I didn't pay up. I just, I guess I paid more than I would normally. But I have no idea on value of this. I think there's one listed. I'm sure there's one listed for like 30, 35. I can't quite remember. Um, so I might aim for the sort of same. That's a different color. It's white. This is a brown, I would imagine. But yeah, so that's that. Uh, next up, normally I'd leave this, but because of something else I picked up recently, um, which I'm going to show you soon, I picked this up. It's a uh, Pentax camera bag. Um, looking at, I, I paid two pounds on that. Okay, two pounds. Uh, didn't really focus. I apologise, but try that again. There we go. Two pounds. Um, two pounds. I'm looking at. 10 to 12 pounds back not a great deal of profit but um it's just in really nice condition so why not uh also let's have a look here got some more stuff here including this very bag that's all in so we have a ice age scrat uh, this is from ice age one i believe i paid one pound 99 that tends to be the standard price for plusher around this area now. Uh, I only got it because it's in really good condition. Max £10, probably more about £7.99. Not much in it really after all. Might do well for a bundle. As you can see I've got some plush stuff up there at the moment which I've got to sort and, and list and maybe put into some bundles. This one may not necessarily go with any of those but if not I can hang on to it. Not a problem. Uh, this one is a Care Bear. Uh, this one, this was from 2003. I paid one pound ninety nine once again, standard plush uh, price. This uh, I believe is Share Bear. I did research it. I'm pretty sure it came out as Share Bear. Uh, got to change the battery. See if he actually works. If he works, then fantastic. Then you're looking between ten and ten and twelve, ten and thirteen pounds. Um, I find plus just moves really quick sometimes. I think a Care Bear is in really good condition. Uh, really, really nice condition. So I think that will go quite nicely. So there we go. Uh, what else we got? We have another football shirt. And I picked this one up purely because of the year it was. Actually, I probably would have picked it up anyway. But the year was good. Um, this is a Chelsea Okay, Samsung Mobile, but as you can see, it was their centenary year, and it was 2005, so 1905 to 2005. It's not really focusing, but and it was basically a hundred years of Chelsea. Uh, it doesn't necess necessarily make the shirt rare, but there will be more people searching for the centenary ones. I paid 
Uh, I'm not sure if the label. Ah, oh, the label is on it. Cool. I've paid three quid for this, as you can see, three pounds. Size medium. Um, official umbrella stuff. All the all the tags and the labels and stuff all seem to you know they seem to match up with a, a genuine one. Um, I think there's a yeah there's you've got all the official tags inside and also you've got this little hologram that you see at the bottom on the hem that's how you can normally tell because some of the effects or well, a lot of the effects don't have that so anyway not sure I'm looking at about 15 quid so pretty good uh, and then that leaves us with uh, a receipt ignore that right that leaves us with this. Now the label's actually been torn off, but it cost me two pounds fifty. And let me just do this up. It is a Hugo Boss bag or satchel. Um, it's brand new. It's got the uh, I've got the label there. It's still got the protective sleeve over the label, and even inside. You've got, you've still got those like little bags that you get in new stuff, but that keeps it fresh in it or something. I can't remember. Now the only problem is, I'm pretty sure it's I mean, some maybe someone out there may know. Is it supposed to have something else that zips around the bottom? That was just what was left of the tag. Ignore that. But it has like a zip, and I don't. Oh, hang on. Of course, it folds in. There we go. There we go. It folds in. That makes sense. There we go. It folds in. And then you can zip it up. Let's try this. There we go. So then you get the Hugo Boss. Okay, see at first, when I first saw it, I thought maybe it was something zipped at the bottom. Much like, um, for those of you that watch Zaheer, um, he picked up a, a rack sack and it, it was kind of like the same mechanism there. It looked like another bag could zip onto it. I thought that was kind of it, but no, actually this, this works out a lot better. So yeah, 250 £2.50. Um, it says on it here uh, Hugo Boss perfumes, so I don't know if there's any value in that. I will have to have a look. Uh, I was looking at Hugo Boss bags and satchels and stuff on eBay this was before I knew it folded. Um, and I mean, some of them was going for like 25, 30 quid new. And this is new, but kind of not because it's not in a, you know, it's not in a bag. So I don't know. I don't know, if I could get 15, 20 quid for that, I'd be quite happy. So there we go, that's that. Um, right, so next up I'm going to show you some of my auction pickups. Um, I went to two auction houses um, with uh, Phoebe. Uh, I'm sure quite a lot of you know who watched my videos who Phoebe is. You see in the chat a lot of stuff as well. And it, was a, it was so much fun, really enjoyed it. It was the first time I've ever actually live bid at an auction. Um, so I was going to show you what I bought. You may see a cut in the video because I kind of have to rearrange a few things so I can actually access the items. But uh, yeah, so stay with me. Okay, guys. So what we have here is basically a big box of cameras and camera equipment. Now I paid. I will show you this this one here. I paid a grand total of £20 and with the commission was £24.80 at uh, the Chelmsford Auction Rooms, which was quite a nice place actually. I've been there before uh, to view stuff, I've never been there to actually buy stuff before, so it was quite a nice experience. Um, now, there are some accessories here, there's like a Nikon accessory pack. Uh, which is, says made in Japan on the back, which you may not be able to see. Um, and it's just like, you know, cleaning stuff and the lenses. And there's also 
like this little kind of, I think it's a 46 millimeter for the L37 in there as well. Not really sure what I'm going to do with that, but it may go with something else which I'm about to show you, or at least we'll show you soon. Um, so we have that, we have the accessory pack. This uh, is a flash gun and it is a, I can't quite remember, make, I think it's national. Yeah, national hyper flash gun, PB3S, not much money in this, literally a few pounds. So that could either get rebundled or, um, or I could just, I could sell it for a few quid. It ain't going to be a, a massive deal, is it? So, but that's, you know, these are just the odds and sods you get with it, kind of. Bit. Okay, so next up is this nice uh, little camera. It's a Fujifilm Instance Max 10, or as you use Instax Mini 10. Um, Fully working condition, really nice condition actually. No box, unfortunately. Um, and this is, it's kind of a, it's an instant Polaroid camera. Uh, on eBay, tend to go for about 20, 25. There's only one on eBay at the moment, which is 30 quid. Uh, I don't know if he's, if he would sell that. I don't know, who, I don't know the seller, so he may do. You never know. But um, yeah, if he gets 30 quid, I might be tempted to shove this up for 30, 35 as well. But realistically, I'm probably looking at about 20, 25 on this one, which considering the box only cost me 24, it's not too bad, is it? So that's that one. Uh, next up, we have this, which is very nice. It's an Olympus Camedia C2020 Zoom. And at first, I didn't actually think I had this because it was an empty box. I opened up, I've got like a big, brown box here and I opened it up and this was an empty box but luckily enough in the bottom of it the actual camera was there as well um, let me open this up and show you and uh, here we have it here the, the actual camera itself it's fully working original strap and uh, it still has like the accessories and stuff all bagged up in there as well and I'm pretty sure, although I didn't get it, uh, it's in the bottom of the box. I'm pretty sure I also have the lens cap cover. Um, if it can be one. But I know I've got an extra lens cap cover in there. So that might be for this. That will be nice. Um, so that's that one. And this I'm looking. These are, these are sold prices now. Um, sold prices. I'm looking at 39 pounds and 99 pence for this so bit of a result uh next up is a really nice camera bag it's i can actually get it there we go this is a, an empty camera bag it's a united colors of benetton uh, it says it on the top there and also on the label on the side, it says it there. Uh, really nice condition. They, all of these are really lovely condition. They, whoever owned them before really knew how to look after their cameras and, and their bags and stuff. Um, original strap, everything's there. Uh, even the original like, label where you can you can pull that end out and put in your name and address and stuff. So if you lose it, he knows where to go back to. Um, really nice. I've seen it sell for about 10 to 15 pounds on its own. Uh, there is a reseller who I happen to know whose list I found or well, stumbled upon their listing, um, who's selling it for much higher. So I may match that and see how that goes. Um, that one I'll leave till last because that one's a pretty nice find. This one, you know, I don't know too much about this one. This is um, it's just a vintage leather case. Uh, ignore the sticker; that was just a lot number. Um, but it's just very nice. It's it was bought in Jessup's. Um, I believe it was bought in 1976, judging by the uh, the date on the bottom of the paper there. Um, it does say a name, but I don't think it matters too much if that name gets shown. Uh, yeah, so pretty nice. It's a 1970s, really great condition. 
leather case. Don't know too much about it. I might just put it on for 20 quid and see what happens. It might be worth nothing. I don't know. But it's worth trying to sell this one as, as its own unique. I mean, look, look at the lining on that. That is that's nice. But uh, we'll see. Uh, now we have this, which is really just a... Oh, okay. So it's got the, in, the Instax Mini manual in there, which I didn't even know was in there. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, and a nice little like, leaflet for it as well. So I might sell the uh, the Instax Mini with this because this is a Corniche um, case and it's got something in there actually. Oh, right, it has a Fujifilm lithium battery. So that must be for the Instax camera. Nice. So yeah, so I'll sell that with the Instax, which is, um, I think I showed you the Instax. Yeah, I did. Um, it's down there somewhere. But anyway, so yeah, that will go with that. I was originally going to sell this on its own, but this is only worth about fiver. So if I set it with the camera and case, I might be able to bump that uh, listing up a bit. So cool. Didn't even know I had the manual in the case and the uh, battery either. So that's that one. And next up is, uh, right, yeah, here's the uh, the Olympus lens cap cover. So that's that was for that after all, which was nice. But anyway, now we have this, which I'm not actually sure I checked the price on. Oh, yes, I did. Yeah, this is a Konica 7up 70 camera. It's a uh, 35 millimeter. Not too much value in this, if I remember correctly. Um, I think they were going for like five to ten pounds. Um, but it will go anyway, or even if I just set it for a fiver, it it would keep some money back, doesn't it? So it's got a nice case with it, so and that's a Konica case. So yeah, I'll I might try for a tenner on that one just to get something back on that. Uh and now we've got some of the sort of some of the best ones that were in here. We've got um this really nice big case here, which is a, uh, a Samsonite case. Samsonite, pretty decent make for cases in fairness. And in here is a really nice condition. All original straps and lens cap covers and everything you'd need. It's a sharp view cam and it's the VL E610 edition. Let me try and show you that and this is one of those that kind of rotates so you can see the screen and um, there you go there's the screen there it's really really nice really nice uh, a bit old school tech wise now of course but judging by ebay people are still buying these um, really really nice condition there's the um, where the tape goes and there's actually audio tape in there I don't know if I'll I can power it up and then play. Oh, by the way, all of these come with their accessories and their power packs and their batteries and everything you'd imagine. Uh, I may, if I don't show you them, um, just they're, they're there anyway. Uh, but this one also comes with all the manuals and paperwork and stuff as well in the bag. Um, but really, really nice. And I'm looking this one. I'm looking at. Believe it or not, 70 quid. 69 pounds 99 for this one. So um well, well nice find there. Uh, let's just put this lens cap back on because it's keeps falling off. There we go. Right, yeah, so this one, all of that the battery and everything like that is in the front here. And you get that's all the leads and the batteries, and there's extra bits and pieces in there and also, sorry, you can't, can't see that. There you go. So it's all in there. Um, so yeah, that's 70 quid for that. And second to last is this really nice sort of big case here. This is a Miranda uh, case. And in here is a really, really nice. Um, this is a Samsung VPM50 uh, camcorder. And um, really, really nice. I, 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 for some reason, remember having one of these before. I don't know why. Um, I have no idea why, in fairness. I've, I've, I know I've had one of these before somewhere. But anyway, yeah. So 
it's really nice condition. Um, obviously, it's tape as well. Um, and yeah, really, really nice. It, it takes the standard sort of video camera tapes, as you can see there. Original strap, really nice condition. Uh, it says the the make and stuff at the bottom there. So um, yeah, this one on eBay with all this bag and stuff. And as you can see, they've still got all those freshness stuff in the bags. Lens cleaners, they've got the whole works. Um, and oh yeah, there's also some extra tapes and converters and cleaners and stuff in the top there. And this is one of those where the bottom unzips. So you've also got all of the batteries and extra tapes and all sorts in the bottom there. The charger and the leads and that are in there. Um, and this one is going for 70 quid as well on eBay. Um, so they're pretty nice. But this was the find of the day for me. I, when I went to the viewing day, I didn't see this. And even when I picked up the box and I had a little sort of like a little look in it while I was carrying it, I didn't see this either. This is a Nikon. This was right at the bottom of the box, and I didn't even see it until I got home. Right at the bottom of the box, Nikon camera in a in the original brown case, uh, original strap, okay, on the camera. And this is a made in Japan Nikon, um, and it's the L35 AF. It should say it on, oh, there we go. It says it right down the top. And it's made in Japan. It is mint. It is immaculate. It has the original lens cover. Um, it's, yeah. It's really nice, really, really nice, and it is mint. I mean, there is not a there is not a scratch or a speck on this. Uh, but yeah, original uh, um, strap. There we go. Original strap. Everything. Original case. And I've seen these on eBay with the original um, lens cover, original strap, and original case. Fetch ninety five pounds. Um, so that is a heck of a return. I'm going to try for $99.99 on it because it is mint. Now, in fairness, the one that sold for $95 was also described as mint. And I'm going to be describing this as mint because it is. So of course, there still has to be some testing done before I can really list all these properly. But um, for a bottom of the box find, not too bad. Um, so yeah, that's the cameras. I will move on to a few other things. Um, thanks for still sticking with me. I know you're going to see a few cuts and jumps, but that's because I'm kind of sorting things out. But yeah, stick with me for some more. Okay, so next up are these. Now, the boxes are just completely wrecked. Um, but what's inside is is okay, it's pretty decent. Um, this is a interactive Doctor Who canine toy. And basically you get the uh, canine interactive toy, you get a removable, um, I think they call it like a maintenance hatch or something. Um, you get the two aerials, as long as they've got the two aerials, they've got the hatch, the tail, and a bit of a story because this one hasn't got a battery cover. Um, now it's got the remote control of it. Okay. Now I got this for five pounds at the auction, um, and I'll show you because I like to be as transparent as possible. So that would be the top one there. Five. I can't really see, but five pounds. There you are. Five pounds, and it says at the top one there, Doctor Who. Anyway, you can't see it, but take my word for it. Oh, there we go, Doctor Who canines always. So, um, when I actually paid my invoice and the guy sort of ran off and to, to get my purchases, um, he bought out two of them. And I thought, oh, I thought I was only buying one, but he bought out two of them. So, the other one isn't in great condition, 
it's missing a few bits. Um, however, the good thing is, it does have the battery compartment. So I can nick the battery compartment off of that one, complete this one, I will ditch the box and sell it unboxed. So, yeah, it's that's that one. This is the other one. Uh, with the other, that's the, the remote control you can get between 10 and 13 pounds alone just for the remote control. So I'll sell just the remote on that one. Um, yeah, this is the other one. The box is really faded and probably in worse condition than the other one. But this one got the missing bits. So I'll take the battery compartment and I might sell that as spares and repairs and sell this uh, separately as a 13 pound extra. So I'm looking for about 40 quid on that out of the box. 13 on this, maybe a tenner on that just as spares. So uh, yeah, not too bad. Still a good return on my five pound investment there. Uh, it's important to, to actually add that on, I think it's that one. Can't remember what the invoice is. But anyway, I've just put it down as well. Anyway, whoever it is, is 20% buyer's premium to be added on. So, right, so that's that one. Ah, here it is, there we go. Yeah, so obviously my actual total was £32 plus the commission of £5.76 and then obviously VAT gets added on as well so yeah okay so that's those uh, and next up this is something else I picked up at auction and I believe it cost me £10 yeah £10 as you can see it's on the bottom of the list there 10 quid um, it's extremely creepy, but I've seen it in a video before. I know it can go for some good money, especially around Christmas time. I'm hoping to sell it before Christmas. I won't get as much, but I'll still make a profit. And I've always wanted one of these. It is a Yano interactive creepy thing. Um, I mean, it, it moves its face and it has story books and it reads. Um, yeah, these are, as you can see, seriously, seriously creepy little things. Uh, it does have a brand new and sealed storybook in there. Kind of a second storybook. Unfortunately, not all five. That would have been awesome. But yeah, so I paid £10 on this. But I just saw it. I just I really wanted it. And uh, I'm hoping to, I'm going to look for about 45, 50 quid. You can get about 60 at Christmas. Um... But if, if I could sell it for 40 quid, I'd probably be happy. Not as much profit as I expected. Uh, or not necessarily expected, because I did my research. But as I'd like. But it kind of broke the ice at the auction, because it, it meant that I could actually just buy something, get get my sort of toe in the water, as it, as it were, and and actually just buy something at an auction, a live auction for the first time. So, um, But I ended up buying three items that day anyway. So, yeah. So there we go. That's uh, Yano, the interactive creepy bastard. Okay, so box of games. Um, like I said, there are some proper duds, but there are some pretty good ones. Um, I'll, be, I'll be making money. Some of them are probably going to be Music Magpie, uh, but I'll show you anyway. So let's have a look. Let's see what we've got here. I'm just going to quickly run through and put them back in the box. And. So there's like PlayStation 2, PC, Xbox, PS3, all sorts. Right, okay. I paid 17 quid for the box, which maybe was a bit high, but there was a guy bidding with me, and I really wanted to win. So, which is not how you should do it, but I still got money in it. So, there's a demo disc for PlayStation World. These can go for about a fiver sometimes, but you might be in for a long way. Gran Turismo 6 on the PS3. It's about a £10 game uh, on Xbox and um, on Xbox on eBay. So that's pretty decent. Uh, we got GTA 5 on the PS3. That's still about an eight to twelve pound game, depending on the day. So pretty good. Uh, Beyond Two Souls, that's still about a ten pound game on eBay. On that's on the PS3 as well. Fight Night Round 3, not really worth much. Tiger Woods PGA Tour on the PSP, but no manual, and it's, I mean, it's just disintegrating in my hands, so, nah. Uh, 
good old trusted FIFA, FIFA 2002 on the PS2. Nah, seen it. Um, the movie trivia game, probably not much in that. Pro Evo 2 on the PlayStation 2, nothing in that. Football Manager 2007, no. Crash, Wrath of the Cortex, that's still pretty cool. That's, I think I've seen it sell for like 15, 20 quid, even in the Platinum, so. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, we have Def Jam Fight for New York. Not much in that. A couple of UMD um, discs. They are Loco Rocco and Disney Pixar Wally. Probably not much in those. Go Sudoku PSP. Not much in that. Flight Pan on the PSP it's UMD disc. I've seen it sell for a fiver, but it's probably going to be a very long sale, so. Uh, Flight Unlimited 2 on the PC, dime a dozen, not going to get much for that. FIFA 09 on the PS3, uh, once again, not much in that. Football Manager 2008, not much in that. Just Dance 2 on the Wii, always good for a bundle. Little Big Planet on the PS3, um, it's still about an £8 game, I think, so that's not too bad. Uh, got a couple of, well, actually, I'll show you them in a minute. Another Just Dance 2 on the Wii. Uh, Horn B, build and operate your own rail, railway. Uh, I think it only goes for like a fire, so. FIFA 08, PS3, not much. Tiny Hawks Pro Skater 3 on the PS2, nah. Uh, Trains Railway Simulator, uh, once again, dime a dozen. Uh, let's put that one in there. Empire Earth 2, I actually used to really like these kind of games, so I might actually play it, but. Um, Resale wise, nah. Uh, Pro Evolution Soccer 2008, nope. FIFA World Cup 2002, hell no. Roller Coaster Factory, nope. Call of Duty Black Ops 2 on the PS3, uh, some resale value, 5 6 quid, so that's alright. Rugby 2006, not really. Um, Matrix Path of Neo on the Xbox, yeah. Now, next up we got some PC Sims 2 titles. So we've got Kitchen and Bath, IKEA Home Stuff, and Festive Holiday. Um, you can get four or five pound each for these, roughly on eBay. I might just bundle them up for a ten and I'll let them go. Uh, but this was a good one. Uh, Mortal Kombat Armageddon on PlayStation 2. Uh, on eBay, this is about a sixteen to twenty pound game. Um, you may, not, you may not necessarily be the cheapest at that price, but it will still sell at that price. So that was pretty decent. Um, I've got some other bits to show you, and then I believe we're done. Still, thank you for sticking with me. It's going to be a long video, I know. But uh, this is practically everything I've picked up. So, cool. Okay, so next up, uh, some pretty high techy stuff that I'm about to show you. If you're someone that loves those tech items, um, these aren't your everyday run the mill stuff. Uh, this, what I'll show you first, is a UNI-T, um, this is a UT-801 multimeter. Um, really nice condition, fully working, and this on eBay, I'll show you a bit more of it actually. Um, but yeah, it's basically a multimeter for electronics testing. Um, and this I hope to get £55.99 for. Um, it's pretty good. It's it's hard to actually say what I paid for all this what I'm about to show you because I bought it in a bundle and it was a personal bundle, um, a direct sale. Um, so I really don't know, to be honest. Maybe 10 or 20 pounds an item, I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, so this was 50 yeah, 55 pounds 99. I hope you get back on that. Um, these are pretty cool. These are Quantum V2 Pro uh, goggles. And they're basically like uh, it's a headset, and it's all it's all brand new, it's all still sealed, uh, and you basically yeah you kind of wear it, and it's uh, they're really really nice. Here you go, you, you can kind of like you you build up the you build up the goggles, and you kind of literally wear them and look through them. You've got you can have different screens and stuff in them. You've got the, the uh, support as well that 
you put around your head. It's it's basically what people buy to create their own virtual screens. So when they're flying, say like RC helicopters or planes, they can actually see the, the camera on the plane and they can fly and look around and stuff. It's it's pretty unique stuff. Um, but yeah, so anyway, that's those. And I will be looking to get £59.99 pence for these. Once again, this is all based on either sold listings or being very conservative with already listed items um, on eBay. Nine times out of ten, I will, these are sold unless I say otherwise, if you know what I mean. So I always tend to go by sold listings. Um, so anyway, yeah, these are all still brand new. Um, this next item is a graphics card for your PC computer. And it is a MSI Cyclone N460 GTX. Uh, once again, it's used, but it's, it's, it's great condition. Uh, I deal with a lot of these. I used to build my own computers. So. Um, and that graphics card, I will look to get about £35 back. That's sold listings again. Uh, this is a basically a battery, a cell battery for um, for a few items. So you know, for example, something like this, which I'm about to show you, which is a transmitter, will take this kind of battery. Um, and this, there's not much money in this, about a tenner. So I probably paid more for this than it's worth, but overall I paid less for the other bit. So it made sense. Uh, this is about yeah, about a ten pound, and it's just a it's just a cell battery, a lithium cell battery. Um, I'll show you the transmitter next. Look at this. I mean, this is some pretty high tech transmitter here. I mean, there's so many dials and switches and all sorts. These are these are basically what people buy to fly remote control airplanes, like the, the big scale ones. Um, things like that battery would go in there, and also you you, you can plug in a telemetry um, sort of add-on in the back, which I happen to have as well. So yeah, that's really nice, um, proper professional grade uh, transmitter there. And this is this is actually a Turner G9 XR, by the way. I'll uh, be looking to get 60 quid on eBay for this. So happy days. Uh, next up, since I mentioned it anyway, this is actually the telemetry pack, which you can plug into the back. Um, you don't get this with it; you buy these separately because different. Vehicles require different telemetry and different frequencies. Um, this is an FR Sky DJT 2.4 gigahertz telemetry box uh, with the aerial, and this will go for uh, 38 pounds 99 pence on its own. If I plugged it into the receiver, uh, sorry, the transmitter. This is the receiver. If I plugged it into the transmitter. I could maybe try and sell it for 90 plus pounds, but it's a lot easier to sell them separately because, like I said, people are looking for different frequencies, so it makes sense. So that's that. Uh, and lastly, we have this, which is something called a diversity receiver. And once again, it's to do with um, RC aircraft and helicopters and also cars and bolts and all that kind of stuff. And it's basically just a receiver uh, which picks up. The, the signals from the plane. Uh, very simple, makes sense. And this, because it's brand new and boxed, will go for £65. So pretty good. So I believe we're done. I've got a lot of editing on this video to do. I'll try and edit out as much as possible and so I'm just showing you the goods there. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for staying with me. It was a long video. I apologize. I said it would, but um, yeah. So anyway, that's all my haul. Um, I've got to get these photographed and listed. So hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. I hope you guys have had great pickups, great sales. I know it's been pretty slow, but just keep chugging along. It will get better. If you are having a slow time, I guarantee it will get better. It will pick up. Just keep working, keep sourcing, keep listing, and it will happen. So thank you for watching again. Cheers. I really appreciate it.